Yo, what's good? So, basically, if you was watching this video, then you are more than likely want to learn how to UV map stickers for your car so they don't look like dog water and they're actually like high quality. So, it's not hard. I'm going to try and explain this as simply as I can in the most simple terms. So, basically, what you want to do is you want to grab whatever part you want to UV map. C frame. Wait, no, hold on. Before you do that, actually, put that back. Okay. Before you do that, duplicate it, and then drag it into workspace, and then set the C-frame to 000. And then make sure that whatever part you're exporting, or whatever part you're UV mapping, it doesn't have a material variant. Okay, set the material variant to none. And then you want to right-click on it. Don't right-click on this. You want to right-click on this right here under the uh, Explorer. Right click on it, export selection, and then export it to whatever you want, and it, export it as OBJ. I already have it exported, let's re-export it. Re export it, and then go into your Blender, make sure that you have nothing on here, import dot OBJ, and then make sure you don't select the MTL, make sure you so, uh, um, select the OBJ. Okay, and then what you wanna do is click Z to bring up, up to the top view, or like if you're doing like a fender, you always click um, X view, uh, whatever flitch about. You want to select it, object mode, go into edit mode, and then click this little uh, wireframe thing right here. Click A, select everything, click Shift, Shift D, okay, that'll put it into this mode. Okay, so click Shift D, click Escape, and then click P, and then click Selection. Go back into the solid mode, and then go back into object mode. Select the part, click UV editing, click A again to select everything, click U, and then click perfect, project from view, and then go over here, click A again, and then click scale, right here, and then scale it up just to where it fits in the box, but if it goes out, it'll like mess up your stickers and like cut them off, but you want to have it in this box right here. Select everything, click UV, export UV layout, and then export it as just whatever name, place, whatever you want to have it. And then make sure you set the size right here to 4,000 on both of those. And then make sure you export it as a .png. And then just want to export it. Doesn't matter where you put it, what you call it. And then you want to open paint.net. Well, I, you can either use paint.net or Canva. I normally use paint.net because Canva will give you some issues. Uh, it's a lot to explain, but trust me. I'd rather use free paint.net. Okay, then get your paint.net. You want to go find your um, thing, your little UV map, and your wherever you put it. Drag and drop. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Drag and drop this, and click open. Okay. D don't click a new layer. Just click open. And then you want to find whatever sticker you want to use. So, um, let's use um, hmm. Let's use Ultra Groove. Let's, an, let's use an Ultra Groove sticker right here. You drag. Oh. You drag. You drag it. And you click. Don't click open. You click add layer. Never mind. We don't use that. I forgot that messes up the scale. You don't want it to mess up the scale so it like brings the. Where it increases the size of the image. Because see how it's set to 4000 by 4000? If it makes it bigger than that, it'll screw up the scaling whenever you actually do when you start doing the shading. All right, let's just do this faction one then. You want to click add a layer, and then you got your little faction sticker right here. You scale it down. Doesn't matter what you do with it; just place it wherever you want it to be. This is the top, and this is the bottom of the windshield. So let's have it right here. Okay, place it in the middle. Just all right. And then you want to select the background. You want to click a delete layer, so it's just the sticker. And then you want to click File, and then Save As, and then do whatever you want with it. Just make sure you remember where it's at. I've already done it, so I'll just redo that. Okay. Click OK. And when that's done, you open Blender. Click Shading. You remove the material. You remove these. You remove these uh, textures. Make sure you select this one, and then you click New. Add texture, image texture, and place this wherever it doesn't matter. You open up your little UV map, 
and you drag the color over the base color so the yellow dot to the yellow dot and then alpha to the alpha right here and ta-da you have a little UV map and then you want to go back into layout and then oh where's my sticker go oh no you want to click right here on the material preview next to solid view and then you should have your sticker right there and then you want to click file export export as a dot fbx and then you want to export it as just uh map video doesn't matter what you call it just make sure you know where it's at like always but the one thing don't mess with anything else in this except scale you want to set the scale to 0 0.01 and then export it go back in the studio you can delete that doesn't do doesn't really matter and import 3d and then just open the dot fbx import it And then you want to grab this, rotate it. You want to grab the C frame position of where the the thing you UV mapped. You want to grab the whole model. Don't grab the mesh inside of it. Grab the whole model, and then click Origin, and then paste that position in there. And you're like, oh no, what, what's going on? You have to remove this one, the normal one. Don't delete the dot zero zero one. Remove the normal mesh. And then you should have this right here. And then you're like, well, my wind my windshield's white. I can't do anything with that. I'm gonna select this and then select the transparency to it doesn't really matter. It uh just zero point zero five and there you go. You should get that. But you see just like a little bit right there, you can like see the seat through the sticker. Just a little bit though. But like if you notice it, it's annoying, so you wanna set the transparency to zero point zero one if you set it if you set it to this it will give you the white thing but if you set it to 0 0.02 it makes it transparent and you won't be able to see the seat through the sticker and then you just want to put this mesh into your body make sure to anchor it oh make sure to anchor it so everything's anchored and then you want to turn the collisions off for the mesh and then if you click f8 Ta-da, you have a UV map sticker now. And you can add like your material variants and stuff to this if you want to. So if I select it, and then set the material variant to glass, it'll give it, it'll give it that shine. Or if you want to set it to like uh, chrome, you know, it gives it that shine, but yeah, okay. Doesn't really matter. It carbon, it gives it that matte finish. So that's how you UV map. Seriously, that simple. Have a good one, guys.